presidente ng Pilipinas. Why? Ang pangarap ko'y maging kapitan ng barko. I'm trying to be honest. Very simple. 1980s, squatter, tundo, pagbabae ka, para yumamang ka, pumunta ka ng Japan. Six months lang, bato na bahay mo. This is the mindset, ha? I have nothing against with people of what they have done in life. I'm a real talk. Babae ka, ang dekada 80, squatter, punta ka ng Japan, yayamang ka. Pag lalaki ka, mag-Saudi ka. Maglagay ka ng bigote, baka mag-ahasa ka sa Saudi. That's how they say it at that time. Or mag-seaman ka. Dahil gusto ko mag-seaman, pero hindi ako mag-seaman kung hindi ako mag-aaral. So from the beginning, my name is to be a ship captain. At they intervene sa awa ng Diyos, pwede pala akong mag-artista. Then, I felt so blessed. Sabi ko, why not in return do some public service if I could only chase one person? Nung ano na ako, gusto ko na maging mayor. Hindi talaga. Para para, kumbaga, it was not planned. Because of the nature of job, or profession, or field, naturally, natural, may progression yung dream. Tama? Kaya, bagay na hindi nyo mapapansin. I'm really trying to offer myself physically, health-wise, mental, experience, academic, the, even the persuasive power attached to it, utilizing it to make Manila better Manila with the help of our fellow 11,000 employees. That's why I'm trying to move heaven and earth today. You know why? Because whether they like it or not, I am now part of history. Saan ka nakakita? Pastorero lang ako. Pwede ako lang maging mayor. So, having said that, will I wish to become a president? I don't know. Why? I don't know yet. Will I qualify as a president? My answer is no. Why? Wala pa naman akong ginagawa sa Manila eh. Will I use my fame, take advantage of it, because you're popular? I think a lot of person did that already. And when they became, or, nung nandun na sila sa position na yun, hindi nila na manage yung bansa. And people will pay me. People will suffer. Will I be part of the suffering? No, I am from the beginning. Hindi mo napansin? I want to pay it for part. So you really wanted to change things. So that's my purpose. Makaangat na ako. Yag pa naman ako sa utaw. Paglingkod naman ako. Yun yung pugin na. Ano, you ask me about, oh, what will you do with the West Philippine Sea? Ha? Manila Bay lang alam ko eh. Because I really wanted to be fair with you guys. I know maybe you are frustrated already. Am I qualified? I don't know. I think not yet. Because what I'm doing here is just basic governance. Well, if there's one good thing, thank you very much. A lot of uh, LGU is doing what we're doing here. Well, that's supposed to be. Because where Manila goes, the country follows. That was a saying before, in the 60s. But I'm grateful. The mere fact it's been two months and ten days, you're now considering me for presidency. And I cannot blame you. Uh, you don't understand yet the veracity of that question. But I am grateful. I'm honest. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, it's just that uh, I'll cross the bridge when I get there. But 
for the meantime, I think I owe it to you. How old are you? Nine. I think I owe it to you. I owe it to you to have a better government, the city government of Manila, to have a better community, peaceful, safe, environmentally friendly. I, 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 owe, I, owe, I owe you that much. Kaya nga, talagang we're trying to move heaven and earth uh, to offer better things for the people of Manila and to those people who will visit Manila, 1.2 million of them. Because 1.8 million will sleep tonight in the city of Manila and tomorrow morning, that 1.8 million will add, the, there will be new numbers who will visit about 1.2. That's 3 million people that I'm going to manage the in. And they are. So, before I talk about politics uh, or, or aspire for a better, uh, bigger position, uh, I think, harapin ko muna, eh, yun yung muna kong payo kanina sa inyo, di ba? Harapin ko muna kung ano meron ngayon. Dahil kung kapangyarihan lang, ay mas makapangyarihan ng presidente kaysa sa mayor ng Maynila. Kung ang pagnanasa ang gagawin mo, ay yun ang nasain ko. Pero dyan na marami nagkamali sa sobrang pagnanasa. Dahil walang kabubusugan. Kapag ka walang kabubusugan, ang kabubusugan hindi lang yung pagkain, ha? hindi lang yung salapi. Pati kapangyarihan. May mga taong matatakaw sa kapangyarihan. Kaya nga kung bakit, pati asawa niya, anak niya, asawa niya sa labas, anak niya sa labas, apo, yung apo nagkaapo, lahat sila nasa gobyerno. Sa, But, you know, can we do something about it? Yes, next election. Can we do something? Yes, you have to discern. You have to distinguish. You have to understand. Ayan. Now, kaya yung bagay na yan, hindi ko yan, never ko yan inisip. But, historically, that's why there was a, a clamor, not only by a nine-year-old today, there was a clamor in social media and did you know that I have a poster in Cavite? <laughs> Do you know that? I have a poster there greeting Happy Fiesta. I'm not even the mayor of that town. So there was a there is now a clamor of whatever it is, no? But I swear to God, since July 1, what I've been doing, what we have been doing has nothing to do with 2022. It's all about the chaos, the problems, and challenges of the city of Manila that we are facing, and the people of Manila is suffering. That's why they kick them out, all of them, outside of public office. And I think that is more than a statement of facts, of frustration of the people of Manila all, as in literally all, was kicked out of public office. And that is more than enough to get our attention on addressing the situation of Manila and the goals and dreams and aspiration of the people of Manila. So I would rather be busy here attending to it and as I have said, kumulitin ko, I will try. I will try. I will try. Hindi ko mapapagod. Gagahasahin ko ang katawan ko. Metaphorically. Uh, I will utilize my youth. That kind of edge that we have bilang bata. Uh, to may have a better...